So I can see that um, Ron Lehman is on the call with us this evening. And Ron submitted some questions with regards to internet and TV costs um, in the area. And is there anything the federal government can help do to reduce that? Um, so if we're able to, technical support can unmute Ron and uh, you can better address your question there to Kyle. Oh, well, can you hear me? We can hear you. Yes. Okay. Can I can I talk now, Kyle? Yeah, go ahead. Absolutely, oh. go ahead, Ron. Okay, I just could say let, let people know <laughs> we're going to sit here anyway. Kyle, uh, it's no secret in the world that internet costs are the highest in the world in Canada. Uh, you know, these big companies, the stronger they get, the harder it is to talk to them. I've been fighting with my ISP for years, trying to get better costs, and I get a little bit. But you know, people are living on a lot of our seniors, like myself, I'm almost 90 years old and I, I can't get to a wow. point where I cannot afford them anymore. So where do we go from here? Do we shut them out? We can't shut them out. We need, we need the services. Go to the United States, go to Britain. I've got very close friends in both countries. And I'm, I'm not talking about close friends who just live down the street. I'm talking about very very high profile people and they talk to me constantly i've got one gentleman who, who runs the history department at a major university in the uk he says ron how do you afford how can you afford the costs of your of your your sir your rep of your internet i said well it's getting more and more difficult i fight with rogers about it about the situation and they they don't care they don't give a tinker's darn about the whole thing because they know that they can they can win whether they lose me is, is to them, I just die and I'm gone. Bury me goodbye. They don't care. That's the hard part. And they, they, they take that approach simply because they have so much money. And where are they getting all the money? They own, they own all, all the sports places in, 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 in Canada. And God knows where else. I'd like to know what their bottom line is right now. But I'm, t I'm tired of fighting with them, trying to get. I, it costs me about uh, 200 almost 200 dollars a month just for internet and then the bare bones i don't get a lot of fancy stuff i don't i don't need it i'm too old i just enjoy right. getting on the internet so kyle who, who's who's going to do something about it can our government do it yeah so you know there's there's lots of challenges with the issues that you raise and i can tell you i know that my my bill at my house for uh internet uh, and my and my cell phone uh, total a uh, little over two hundred dollars a month. It's a lot of money, you know, for not a lot. And I don't have a lot of a lot of bells and whistles uh, on my cell phone. What the issue that you're raising is complicated, and it's it's sort of divided into two different things. Um, with respect to the large three telecoms, they uh, they are very predatory in trying to maintain. Uh, that they are the dominant players, both uh, with respect to internet and certainly with respect to cellular. There was recently a decision by the CRTC that mandated that the large telecom companies give access to their networks uh, in order to, to smaller service providers. And often what you'll find is the smaller companies are the ones who offer far more competitive pricing. Uh, well, what happened is uh, the big three telecoms challenged that decision uh, to provide access to their network at, at discounted rates, and they won that challenge. And the federal government, the current liberal government, uh, they could have uh, reversed that decision and again mandated that the large telecom companies give this discounted access to their networks, but they failed to do so. And I think it's a real slap in the face to all consumers across this country who are paying far too much. You know, the other thing is, is competition. Uh, I think that if you look at uh, you know, the United States or other countries, they have far more internet service provider companies that provide competition and competition will in some ways drive down price. Now, that doesn't mean there isn't a role for the government to look at pricing because I can, t I can tell you this, uh, in Ottawa, there are a lot of people who choose to take out their cell phones in Quebec and get an 819 number. And why is that? Uh, because uh, cell phone rates are far cheaper in Quebec uh, than they are in Ontario, and that's because uh, the government of Quebec has uh, legislated that they can't 
charge more than a certain amount for uh, cellular services. I think there's got to be a real rethink on number one, uh, all the stuff we give to the big three telecom companies because they use that money to maximize their profits. Uh, number two, we have to look at ways to increase competition. And number three, I think we have to look at ways to perhaps legislate uh, the charges that they're giving to Canadians for what I consider to be an essential service. This is something that I've said during the campaign. I believe access to uh, high speed internet uh, is an essential service like electricity and other services we get in this country. And we've got to move forward in ways to make sure that everyone's getting this high speed internet and getting it at a very affordable rate. I, I will I will add that we have a big investment coming up. I'm going to uh, steal Mayor Brown's thunder a little bit. Um, and that is that uh, Whiteman is making a large investment in Orangeville for high speed internet. It's about $56 million. And that's going to bring uh, much more affordable high speed internet into Orangeville. And that's one thing that you could look into for your own internet if you're an Orangeville resident. Um, Mayor Brown, I sort of jumped in all over that, but if you want to, if you have a few things to say, I'm happy to hear. Well, I, um, I've talked to people from Fergus who have received uh, Whiteman and once the fiber is laid, uh, uh, fiber to home, you've got uh, internet and telephone and television. So they will be competing with Rogers and Bell. And uh, I've talked to the president of Whiteman. He feels quite certain that uh, the penetration of Whiteman in the Orangeville market is gonna be substantial. So I think you're gonna, uh, it's gonna, they're gonna start in the industrial area, unfortunately, uh, well, fortunately and unfortunately uh, in the fall, but this is gonna be a two year project and uh, we're gonna have fiber to home uh, in every location in Orangeville. So it's gonna be, uh, a good thing and it's going to bring some serious competition to the other providers and uh, Whiteman is less expensive generally. So That's great news. 